Hey, yeah, I'm Don Fish out of Cincinnati, Ohio. This is my 1977 Ford cruising van. Uh, they came out in 77, kind of a factory paint. This is the original factory paint. Everything on it's factory original uh, from 1977. They made a Pinto matching Pinto cruising wagon to fit this scheme. I do have one of those as well, but uh, it was kind of neat they came out with a set. So really haven't, uh, you know, keeping it up is the toughest part. Um, it almost was easier when I customized some vans than it was to try to keep a van bone stock because you can't really, you know, if you want to keep original paint, you just can't do a lot to it. <laughs> but I've tried to find every piece and part, you know, and probably, you know, keep things like mirrors and hubcaps and stuff on it. Uh, you can have problems with those coming off sometimes. Uh, parts are hard to find. Grills, when you're looking for a grill that's 40 years old and they only made it for three years, that can be a tough commodity to find. Um, so you try to stay out of rocks and geese. <laughs> uh, the van is pretty much the way it came from the factory. Um, the inside, there's a bed and uh, it had to have that to sleep. But I have tried to keep the seats in pristine and uh, um, you drink rack, you make that? That I got that in Boston mm -hmm. at the 15th Nationals when it was in Rhode Island. But uh, I have modified it some. Yes, I've cut it down and done some woodworking on it. The little bed, uh, these are all factory, this is all factory, all this carpet oh, is factory. This okay. all came the way it is except for this bed. That rack there, that, that corner piece runs all the way down. And there's another one on this side. When you lift these up, that's all my storage, but I needed a place to sleep. You know, as many uh, van and truck ends that I go to, you have to have somewhere, your functionality cups in somewhere. Mm. But they even made a model of it. I have a couple of those, and that came out in 77. That's a model of this van, and then, of course, the magazines that was on the, uh, the cover of that year. It's got a 351 uh, Windsor in it. So it'll pull just about whatever you need. It's been a very dependable van. This was a factory stock. This is how it came, mm -hmm. but when this quartz vinyl gets old, you don't just go buy this because they don't make them in silver, so it's going to have one made. So a lot of times the things are just, they're more than what they need to be, but this, this is, uh, that's a 1978 draw hitch. I tried to even keep the trailer hitch period correct, mm -hmm. so that's a, that came up a 78 van, and I sandblasted and painted and bolted it up. I said those covers up there are just protecting the seats. They do come off at showtime. They used a nice factory privacy glass, Ford privacy glass they called it. And they even, they are pop outs. Which is nice and they even, what's really nice is those are Ford privacy glass as well. Now the Pinto and most of them you see are going to be bubbles and plastic and I'm not, I'm up for the glass. Uh, the Pintos are actually a plastic bubble so they're, they did make a different, some differences even though they're supposed to be like a match set. They're, the striping's a little different, uh, the color orange was a little different but it was, uh, it was a neat thing to have, you know, if you could have both of them that's a really cool thing. <laughs> yeah. They come with that roof rack or? Is roof that rack is stock. Is stock. Uh, the Pinto had one too, so that, that came on there in case you wanted to throw a surfboard up there or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These were party vans. They had a, a concept of it at the Detroit Auto Show the year they came out, and it actually had mag wheels, Anson slotted, and side pipes. Mm. And when it came down to production time, the side pipes were a burn issue. You know, people getting out, rub, kids rubbing their legs up, climbing out and rubbing their legs up against them because they get really hot. And they, 
did away with the mags too. It was an actual option you could get from the dealership separate. It wasn't like a simple option, but it was anyway, they could be found. And, um, but when they actually came down the production line, this, this is what they came up with, the wheel covers. Uh, it does have the stock exhaust on it still, which I don't know how it's staying on there, but it is. And it works, and it's all there. Uh, like I said, the engine's been very dependable. Uh, 351's been around forever. Miles? Miles has got 145,000 on it. And this gets driven. It doesn't get trailered to shows. I drove it up here to Massachusetts this year, and two, three years ago, we were in Florida. I drove it to Florida, and next year it's going to Minnesota. So. From from Cincinnati, Ohio. So it uh, it gets a little travel time, but it also you know it, this doesn't get just parked out all winter time. I do keep it uh, in the in the barn. It gets a little protection, but it seems like every time I pull it out to go to an event, it rains. So it does get water. <laughs> Since, uh, that's about. Uh, it, it did come, actually this was an upgrade from some of my older vans. Uh, I actually have air conditioning, mm. power steering, mm -hmm. and intermittent wipers. Mm. Wow. I, I'm waiting on cruise control, some year. Oh, wow. <laughs> That'd be nice. From a much newer van. <laughs>